Hello, my warriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tag. Guys, we have a Stalker. It's a 75-ton variant. However, we're gonna take a look at the mech bay and I'm instantly gonna build that thing today. So, let me see what we have here. It's a full Stalker 4P. We're gonna ready that thing up and I really hope it's coming with, at very least, half of its equipment because this is, uh, this is a thing that we don't have so much. Um, equipment and, and engines and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, we got some SRMs here. It was coming with regular SRMs and standard heat sinks and uh, standard engine anyway. A 225, that's actually quite bad. However, we now have a Stalker with six energy hardpoints as well as three missile hardpoints. Beautiful. That's just great. Um, also, I like that we have 75 tons at our disposal now, so that means we can take bigger weapons and put that into the Stalker here. And I'm actually thinking to streamline a bunch of my mechs. This mech here is really good at uh, support firing because here's the thing: currently, our biggest engine is a 225. Uh, sorry, 250, which is nothing, and that means we need to make it somewhat long range. And therefore, I'm thinking about bringing uh, my LRM 15 coming from the Kronos. I have an LRM 10 on the Swordsman, and we have some some other LRMs lying around. The 15 and the 10, by the way, are clan weapons, which are great. So I'm thinking about. The 15, the 10 clan, and then an LRM 15 on top of that, and we have a base weapon loadout, and we have, what is that, 40 missiles at our disposal. On top of that, maybe a large laser, or two. Well, we'll see about that. Or a bunch of ER mediums or something. And with that, we can we can already play it as a, as a mid-ranger, with a 250 engine. It's not great, though. I'd rather have a 300 or so, but whatever. This is what we have. But anyway, before we can do that, let's quickly take all of this out. Right now, I only care about starting the repairs. It takes 21 days anyway. And then, by the point the mech is repaired, we can reevaluate our build options. Because by then, we might have more stuff. So, I'm not building anything and rebuild it later. By the way, this camo pattern is actually quite cool. I like the blue and silver. Really nice. So, we also have a Stormcrow in the making. God, we need so much money. Haha. <laughs> And with that, I'm thinking about actually getting off this planet. Or maybe we're gonna do some more missions here. Because we have two more missions, which are actually quite interesting. And that's a two and a half skull escort. And then there is a um, two skull, what's that, destroy base. And we get a lot of salvage out of that. So I'm thinking about taking those today. Mm, and that's what we're gonna be doing. Yeah. But for that reason... Mm, let me think. We only have two mech base currently. I'm gonna... Postpone the storm crow a little bit, or am I? It's difficult. It's a very difficult choice here. The storm crow would give me more value, right? More value than the swordsman. All right. So this is how we're gonna be doing it: six days for the crow, three days for the Chronos, one day for the Uziel. So we are combat ready again, and then we're gonna give the other guys priority. So one more day. Everybody should be... Ah, stop it here. Damn it. Everybody should be fine. We basically wasted a day or two now. This is a thing that I tried to avoid, but we got it anyway. Um, but yeah, let's take a very, 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 very quick look at the build of our Stormcrow that we built earlier. Also, the Kronos needs... Yeah, it needs some repairs because our hot seat cockpit got a crit on the engine. It's two more days. I don't, I don't want to leave it on the battlefield, though. Uh, in, the, in the storage. I want to bring it to the battlefield. So, yeah, Stormcrow B is now active and it's running... The medium laser build with an LB-10. Active probe, Guardian ECM, lots of ammo. I think this guy could run the AMS a bit more... ...reliable. Reliably. Because we basically have too much ammo in here. Yeah, and we, we just built a mech because we, we didn't have really good options. But anyway. Um, we technically have four mechs ready. Do I want to wait two more days for the Kronos? No. I do, but I don't. Let's go to the command center. Let's just play it. I want to see how this plays out. So again, two and a half skull. Let's go for the good stuff. We are playing against Clan Wolf, and that is uh, absolutely perfect, because we're going to get more options here. So you on the crow. I need somebody who's better gunnery, like Morphium. Sure. Yeah, let's go with that. Cool. So Morphium on the Stormcrow, we have a Moloch on the Stormcrow, and uh, then there's the Uziel and the Swordsman. Honestly, you know what? I kind of grew fond of the little Swordsman. It's actually 
doing its job. It, it does something. It's not great, but it's doing something, and that's quite nice. We have that nice long-range build coming from that one LRM-10 and that one Ultra Auto Cannon 5, but, you know, the damage is consistent, the hit chances are good, and what more could you like, could you want here? I don't know. A thing that we can do, by the way, when we drop the Swordsman... So we can either drop it completely, or um, we... We're gonna kind of rebuild it when we take the LRM out there. I don't know what we're gonna put in it, but eh, we'll see about that. Um, but the other thing is, if you drop it completely, we can then take the Ultra Auto Cannon 5 and pair it up with the LB10 on the Crow and make it like a full ballistic build. And um, kind of see where this is going. Also possible, guys. I think it would be even better, especially when you have a bit more hit chance. So when the Ultra Auto Cannon 5 hits reliable... Uh, reliably, and the, and the LB-10 as well, then you have good pinpoint. So, that's the capture zone, let's get close to it. Like, behind it? No, so we have some blocking forces, it seems. I'm gonna drop, uh, here? No, here. Okay, so, bum, 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 bum. get all of them in. And we're gonna rush over this hill, get the capture zone, destroy everybody, and uh, start the escort. I get to choose between hellfire or a frozen death. So, let's get in it. There they are. You're asking a lot of an old guy. So, what about the crow? Let's get into cover. Also, I want to take a look at what we are facing. A scout or scout? Salamander toads? Lame. An adder? That's interesting. It's coming with two ER PPCs. And a pack hunter, also a PPC. That is a lot of firepower on their side. Ready for orders. But luckily we have our headser, who's gonna be our meat shield. So, don't know what to do against the toads. Now I really wish I had my flamers. Cause flamers have a higher accuracy against those elemental types. All right, I'll sit here. I got plenty so I need to wait for them to make a move because I do believe currently they are still on... Are they still on spawn protection? Maybe I made a mistake. No, wait, they are not anymore. First round is over. Yeah. Mm, not good, but we can make up for it by just going in like this. So, go. hello mister, and a goodbye mister. Yeah, he's down. That's good. So we don't have to be afraid of two PPCs anymore. <laughs> Next, Storm Crow. Those salamanders are a problem. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side with the crow. Saying hi to the Oscout. scout. And we can shoot slug, we can shoot cluster or high explo- I wanna check out high explosive. Alright, yeah, okay, so it's stealing a bit of AoE damage there. Commander? Nothing too crazy. Um, a toad interception here. No shooting, just running. On the carrier. Oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? What do you want? I don't know. It, just, it feels so pain, painful. Oh, I don't like going fast. It's scary. Twenty percent. I'll take it. Oh wait, those guys have repairing armor, so we have to we have to really ball up on them. All right. So what about the other guy? Pack hunter, no percent. Mm. Okay, Thunderbolt. Actually hitting them. Good to go. Not bad, not bad at all. And then we're gonna take the Uziel over here. Oh, sorry, just the other Storm Crow. And we're gonna shoot indirectly with our SRMs. I mean, yeah, we got some damage in. Now it's all about the initiative. Because if we can, then we should move around. Try to get a back strike. Yes. All right. Roger. Yo, guys, you're doomed. You're dead. Got it. And rightfully so. So, down go the elementals. That's nice. But we are kind of in an open position now. We are flanked by an Oz Scout, so it's not a big deal. But the Pack Hunter, that thing, if he comes around, shoots the PPC into the back of our Uziel, we're gonna have a problem. Alright. At the same time, again, we just need to put the Hetzer in front and everything's fine. What's up, boss? Right. That's how it works. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I'll try. Let's go. Maximum speed. So, LK, but we have all we should have dead fire as well. The chance is not the best, but I'm gonna take dead fire anyway. Because we have very little chances to actually use that. Usually the crow is uh, a little bit too far away. 
Uh, and yes, I have my AMS Mark II not set to overload yet. It doesn't matter yet because those enemies are using energy weapons only. But I need to remember that for later when the missiles are coming. If they are coming. Did he engage my swordsman? Oh, God, I was sleeping. What not allowed, mind? man. Not allowed. So, sprint for three, getting a side oh, shot on both of those guys. Sure. Yeah, we like them. He technically is not a priority target, the Oscar here, because he only got one medium laser. He can still punch us, yeah, but the, the bigger damage is sitting on the, on the pack hunter there. Also, we have a jam? We have a jam on the auto cannon? Not cool. What? Alright, let's go with the stuff that we can hit. Like that. It's down to five. Almost. Target's taking a critical hit. Waiting for order. But yeah, luckily we still have a just a plenty, plenty of missiles at our disposal. On my way. And ooh, twelve percent. Twelve is not good. Roger. So yet again, just dealing the damage where it matters, where where it counts, Man. and then we hope for the next round to be a bit more precise. That's funny. Okay, I'll do it. Let's go. Um, I also get to the high ground here for an even better hit chance. Not in the forest, because forest obstructs your line of sight. Like, your, your hit chance a bit. And we're gonna be dropping some mines in that area. Maybe that that helps. Although I gotta say, the pack hunter is able to jump, if I remember correctly, so... He can, he can just act against it, work around it. Hello. Okay. Ready for orders. We need that Uziel. All right, and we will sprint for four right. evasion. That's super good. Pack hunter. Yeah, that's what we do. I think we just go all in here. And I was hoping that we hit the right shoulder a bit more because this is where the gun sits. This is where the PPC hit, is. Ah, uh, yeah. No, wait. <laughs> we just attack from the side. That's why. Which is uh, it's, it's okay. Roger that. It's fine. So that's gonna be not high explosive, that's gonna be a, a cluster shot. He's unsteady. We didn't get any criticals or ammo explosions, because, you know, there is no ammo, but... Ah, damn it. Okay. But it certainly did a thing. Oh, he's running. Oh, he's running away! Getting a lot of leg damage. We will follow, sure. So, LK... This, this mag needs more ammo. Especially in longer missions that are coming now. That. Yeah, when we have like multiple engagements, uh, like like this blocking force, then there will be interceptors, and then there will be reinforcements later. We're gonna face three hell? lances of max total. Uh, that's a lot. That's a Can lot to there? fight, and therefore we need more ammunition. Alright. Yes, Underwhelming. 33%. Oh, 59. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's go. He's still not destroyed. Damn. But he's punched out. And that's pretty good. That's a lot of clan tech on the board. I do believe that also means um, that we're gonna get that clan XL engine. Interesting for the stalker. Keep that in mind. Oh, uh, yeah, but anyway, let's get into the zone. You're asking a lot of an old we are out of active combat again. And that means Perfect. one of us just needs to get there. Knowledge. Are we going Roger down that. here? Wait a second. Is that the way? That. No, this is not the way. Over here, over here, over here. Am I blind? Wait a sec. Do we have to go down here? Where's the pickup zone? I don't see it. Hmm. Okay. Um. So, nobody has jumped yet, so nobody can really get up there quickly. Cool. You're asking a lot of an old guy. I'm gonna use the Uziel to do that. I Rest is gonna stay here. So we're gonna split up a bit. Position confirmed. Here we go. Heading out. Copy that. I assume that we're gonna You're gonna move over here. Guy. Oh, yeah, actually, that is the same map that we played just recently, but when uh, when ambushing a convoy and they were going over here. Nice. This is where they have to go. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely great. Now, what do we have in terms of enemies? I don't see anybody yet. Okay. I'm gonna quickly reserve. Maybe they're showing up Reserving soon. Action. Oh. oh, there is a guy. Svantovic. Okay. 
All right, I'll sit here. I got plenty to do. Not like I'm and that is a no falcon. Or anything. And that is a an adder. Okay. Nice. Here comes the swant of it, probably. It would be actually quite cool if he's moving over here, so we can intercept him with what we have here with our carrier. Also, the carrier needs to kind of stay on the road in order to perform. Waiting on you, Commander. So, that's our payload. We have an LRM-15 that shoots at no hit chance whatsoever, but we're gonna shoot at 3%. Time Let's do die. it. No hit. And I like how the... Uh, did you see the trees? Hey, how they the bend it away? What can I do for you? <laughs> so, SRM's also pretty good. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not bad. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Uh, LRM-10, medium pulse. Oh, dude, those games... Those guys are stacked. Uh, we are not even shooting. It's not worth the animation time. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? All right, swordsman. All right, grandpa. It's gonna be a move and shoot. And we have a decent hit chance. So, sure. The problem that we're having right now is that all of these guys are guarded. So, they didn't shoot us. That means they just protected themselves for a 20% increased damage reduction. Um... 20% damage reduction. And they also have the forest around them, which is another 20%, so they only take uh, 60. And if they have Bulwark, they even take less. So, Carrier needs to stay on the road. It's a, it's a wheeled um, vehicle, so therefore it cannot really run through rough terrain. Receiving you. Uh, it's my Uziel, sure. Let's move. Looking out. And Standing by. Morphium. That is good. Yeah. Let's bring the Stormcrow to the front. Your chance is... Actually, it's quite good on the Swant of it. Let's take that. And I think in this position, I should technically go for the lasers first and then the other things later. Because... Uh, I like the LBX later. Because if we can crack the enemies open, um, then we had a higher critical chance coming from our LBX. It's good. It's good damage. But we are now out of Thunderbolts. Crow... And I love the fast-moving Max. It's just great. Double time. Let's go. I'll do it. We will most likely run out of missiles in this mission here. Waiting for orders. But I think that's okay. So uh, next thing, going over Got here. Max speed, no shooting. And I'm gonna try to shoot the Swant a bit a bit more. We don't need much on that side anymore, so we might be able to kill it even with our friends, I may need some more time the uh, the corporals here. Turn 8. Who? Where? Wait a second. What is that? Why is there a such such a low initiative guy? I have no idea what that was. No clue. Wow. Super interesting. Um, no, we're gonna wait with the Uziel until we get a better angle, better target. We have a very bad hit chance against that guy. So, swant it is. Fire! Taking the shot. And we kill him. Nice. That was good. One more for the trash heap. So, that's an adder. It's another adder. What was it? Could have been this guy in the back. Oh, uh, it's the missile adder. Oh, no. <laughs> so, we probably have to activate our AMS Mark II. 100%. Minor damage, Commander. Yes, Commander. Uh, the Uziel is gonna wait. I copy. You're gonna overload your AMS. That's important. And I shouldn't have done it yet, by the way. I should, shouldn't have done it yet because now I have to actively Understood. use the Stormcrow. I have to move it now. We're gonna use a Vigilance for a bit of defense. We're gonna use Dead Fire here. Or are we? 17 to 30 is a big difference. Let's stay with LK. Cool. So, I wonder if the PPCs of the Edda are accurate. I'll take it. So he charged, that means that he didn't, he cannot shoot anymore. Oh wait, no, never mind. <laughs> he still has a flamer. And machine guns, and those are ER large lasers. Interesting. Oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Same thing here, correct? Yes, we're gonna wait for this uh, panther to do things. Absolutely. He's gonna be my next target. It's a falcon, by the way, not a panther.
That's good. That is what we needed. A completely wasted turn on his side, and he didn't even move that far, which means in return we're gonna have a good hit chance. How's it going? That is exactly what we needed. So, Skyros, go over here. You just follow the road. There's nothing else you can do. I hear ya. The corporal, sure. Going turbo. Going turbo. And we're gonna take the highest hit chance again, which is this guy. Here we go. We hit him once. Need something, Chief? Ah, yeah, minimum range. That's gonna be a thing now. We might, uh... Yeah, we might go over here. That's fine. Confirmed. So, 33. Target acquired. Percentage wise. Good to go. Got some solid hit in there. Solid hits, even. My god, I cannot talk. Uh, what's that? Too far? Sprinting. There we go. What can I do for you? There we go. You betcha. And I do believe we're gonna shoot him. Although, again, we only have seven. It might be one hit, and it might matter in the end. What the hell are we fighting here? There's one thing. Oh. Are you? Are you that guy? The harasser down here? Yep. Might be. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Now. 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 Now the UGL can go in. Look at that. And we're gonna... Actually, I'm more afraid of the adder. Ah, let's go with him. <laughs> the friendly fire is hard today. <laughs> so, upper arm destroyed. That's good. Can I go there? With the prowler? Nah, I should probably stay in cohesion. Pedal to the metal. There we go. And another 5% hit chance. Those guys are just bad, but it's okay. Alright, so we have one more. And that is Mr. Grumpy Old Guy. I can probably afford going over there. I'll do it. You're asking a lot of an old guy. So one arm is down. He is now unsteady. He's unsettled. And that is the new round. Okay. Pooh. Where do we bring the Stormcrow? Probably just into the back of the adder. Like this adder here. I like that a lot. That. Because we can also probably go dead fire now. We should. We should really do that. I'm gonna also go vigilance again. And fire everything. Fire. Almost down. But hey, you know what? I'm fine with that. His initiative is crap now because of it. And uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be probably fine. Uh, also we can follow up on that, sure. No problem. No problem on that side, guys. Let's uh, attack with everything. It doesn't matter. Actually, heat matters a bit here. That one's and the adder is down. Receiving you. Hmm. Kind of want to push the other guy there. But maybe it's... Locking yeah, it board. is not maybe. It is certainly a good idea to just do that. And? Target's and? And? Critical. Nothing? What? I was hoping that he would just punch out. No. Crap. We also have to send someone in to destroy the harasser in the end. It might be Skyros. Might be. Yeah. Now you see the big problem is that this here is a, is a full ridge. We cannot get over it without jump jets. The only way is this here. There's a little gap. We can move over here. I don't know if he's the right man to do it. What do you want? Uh, yeah, Swordsman. We're gonna, we're gonna pull back again. Staying in motion. Very important. Oh, and going we're gonna... We, we need some distance for the Ultra Order Cannon to work properly. He's still alive. I can't believe it. He's down to one. And he's punched out. Perfect. So, as I was saying, Skyros, are you gonna be the man? I think so. Yeah, we're gonna wait for him to do things. Good to go. The heads up. Whatever. Just taking a shortcut. Nice. Oof. Man, you're fast. That's crazy. How far can you get? That's good. Let's do it. So my next big goal. Let me think about it real quick. We have that adder that can be easily destroyed by the four mechs that we have down here. We have to send someone in 
uh, to the harasser on the other side. That's super important. And it might be just a Hetzer and our SRM carrier. 9%. We'll take it. Now he's coming. And I really hope he is coming over here. Because I want to send Skyros over here. That's perfect. That is exactly what we need. That guy is showing up. Sure. He has a lot of evasion though. And he also has the high ground. But anyway. I'm gonna sprint as far as possible. Hello, mister. Oh, yeah, let's go. That's gonna be it. So I'm trying to destroy everybody as quickly as possible here. Not only because I'm... Um, I'm not keen on, on losing, uh, what's it called, um, units here. But I also want to make it somewhat quick to win. Hey and we still have a lot of metal to grind. Keep that in mind, guys. As soon as we are in the zone, there's another lance coming down. Uh, yeah, that's Stenner. And as soon as we have that lance destroyed, the game is over instantly. Reporting. So one we just need to get one of those dudes into the zone and then God, we are fine. I was sleeping. What do you want? Uh, what do you want? I don't know. You cannot do anything right now, so you're not doing anything. Aye, aye. Oh, oh, mm, beautiful. Oh yeah, let's go point blank. Like that. No ha! shooting, just running. <clears throat> He's not gonna see it coming. Or is he? 25 LK, 48. Yeah. Run. It has to be dead fire here. We gotta save our ammo. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Same thing here. Uh, the other side. No, I'm gonna attack this. Although I have a worse hit chance here. Let's go. Uh, but it has to be done. Overheat is not good. Firing on target. Nothing critical. What? All right. So, Adder. Let me see what you can do. Would also be absolutely fantastic to get some of his LRMs there. I think he's running to LRM 20, and those would be perfect for the Stalker. And they are in the sides. Ugh. How, how do we get it? Like, how? Alright, so... Alpha Strike. That's an LRM-15. It's on the arm. Ah, no. Good to go. So one of them is down, unfortunately. Wait. What? C cannot move? Uh. Wait, that's funky. All right. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? All righty, all righty, all righty. Um, let's gonna... Yeah, let's keep going here. And by the way, this is why I'm really hesitant of playing the escort missions because, you know, they take a lot of time and uh, at some point What's up, boss? Uh, a carrier is going to stay because we need a babysitter. How's it going? Um, at some point, it's, it's just moving around and grinding a little bit. I hear ya. So, you can move. Donate now that's good. Brace that. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, you're the frontliner. Reserve. Yeah, you are the backliner, so you were missing in this convoy. Got it. Got it. Good. Uh, you wanna shoot? No, you don't wanna shoot. Good to go. <laughs> Never mind. Uh huh. You wanna shoot? Yeah, you wanna shoot. Let's go. Got it. Hey, four damage. Need something, chief? So then we have Skyros again. He is gonna be the Observe babysitter it. for the convoy, and uh, as soon as we have the adder down, we should be able to move out what of can I do for you? uh out of initiative again. That's what we need. So, waiting for orders. Are we done? Stormcrow, what is your plan here? Wait, where did he go? I need to check his uh, orientation. There we go. Um, we will attack from the same side because I wanted to not destroy. Actually, that's interesting. I'm gonna go Inferno here for the criticals on his engine. Maybe. <laughs> no. Inflicted some heavy damage. No, just no. <laughs> Same thing here. Uh, it's a move for two. Move order received. It's gonna be the LBX after everything. After everything? Yeah, everything. Firing all weapons. So we open them up, and then we're gonna follow up with the criticals. That means we should technically be out of uh, initiative after this what do you need? round here. Uh, sure, let's go here. Good old Uziel. Oh, Good God, old grandpa. What do you want? And I wonder what's coming as the last wave. Yes, 
All right, you go into the forest. Why not? I mean, there's a big forest fire, but okay. Uh, Skyros is moving, sure. And now we have you guys here. Oh, come on. I hear ya. So we're gonna move the backliners first, and then we can move the frontliners. Yeah, fine. Cool. So it's kind of a bit of a cascade that we are doing here, and I think honestly, next round we should already be in the circle. Waiting for orders. So you go here. Let's see. Ah, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Okay, so one. I read you, Commander. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna brace those guys real quick. All right, because uh, the tanks matter more to me than anything else right now. Hey, and here we go. Look at that. Moving out. Got it. So, last lands. Hold this position, man. Drop down. Will be on its way soon. And this is what we're gonna need to do here. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> so, in terms of salvage, let me quickly think about salvage. In terms of salvage, we, we got a lot of stuff already. I'm very much looking forward to a one LRM-15 that we can snatch here. Oh, God, I was um, as well as some um, just general clan parts. It's gonna be good. Those guys have too much evasion. Should have maybe not braced, because now I'm in a pretty awkward, undefensive spot, but okay. I need them to come closer in order to hit them. Ooh, Striker 2C. Nice. We might be able to get more LRMs, and I'm not even looking for... Actually, that's a very good Striker. But we cannot probably get uh, enough parts of it. Two LRM-15 clan and an SRM-6 and an AMS. It's amazing. It's a Nova, right? Yeah, a Nova. Oh, the heavy laser nova. Oh no. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now we gotta destroy that before it can get close. Waiting for the right move. Striker coming. AMS brings value. Fine. I hear ya. So this is where we're gonna attack now. This is where we are not attacking because we cannot move anymore. Yeah, this is it. Alright, so you're gonna brace. Saracen. Yeah, it's fine. So, two very, very interesting targets here. We have the Striker, we have the Nova, with all the heavy lasers in the world. But first of all, before we can do anything else, we're gonna take the Pack Hunter down. It's just that. Um, you know what? We're gonna push that as well. The Nova, by the way, can just jump up and come out of his cover and just mess us up with the heavy lasers. So we gotta be a bit careful. We gotta think about our, um, uh, what to say, how to say it, um, uh, our... Order of turns, I say. Receiving you. Attack. Taking the shot. Right. What can I do for you? Uh, you cannot do anything. You can shoot nine percent. Uh huh. Which actually does something. Lag destroyed. Bit of damage. Nice. And he's unsettled. So Skyros pushing forward is good. No target. You pushing forward is good. And here's the thing. The last few of our tanks that are not uh, kind of bound in a circle can move around freely. They can do whatever they like. Nice. Standing by. Uh, Moloch, let's go. Acknowledged. Stormcrow coming close. And we have Infernos, we have LK. The last few LKs are gonna go now. That's okay. Solid connection on that one. I'm out of short range missiles. That's gonna be interesting, guys. I mean, look at that. Roger. We now have our LBX who can deal devastating critical damage. That's it. He's just destroyed. Cool. So the Pack Hunter is down. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, you are just moving forward as well. I mean, we need some meat shields. I don't want my mechs to get destroyed. We can actually hit them at a very nice rate. 20% is good. Oh yeah, this guy had an AMS. Shouldn't have shot him. <laughs> Alright, next round. Ready for orders. As I was saying, I need to lure the Nova out a bit. If I move closer now, he's gonna get a better hit chance. So I'm gonna stay a little bit away from him. Let him come to hopefully the high ground. Unless he's running away. Huh. Alright. Copy that. That's a problem, guys. Those guys won't show themselves as a direct target. No. How do we How even? Up here? Waiting for orders. They are luring me now. That's not Understood. good. Moving fast. So 20%, 1%, 20%. Uh, how much AMS do you have? Huh? Acknowledged. A lot. But you can only shoot once per round. No 
Lord. That means the other guys with indirect fire can start dealing damage to Mr. Striker. So there's that. Commander. Um, I might be able to peek over here. Good to go. Uh, you're gonna stand and shoot. Thirty-seven. Actually, not bad. And we dealt tiny bits of damage. So the other prowler. Wait, no what? Oh wait, you can mm, shoot and move. Waiting for orders. Interesting. Thirty percent. Got it. It's what we got. And we're actually starting to deal damage. Nice. So, Hetzer, you need to go in. I want my meat shield against the Nova. Super important. I hear ya. Can do nothing. Perfect. Oh, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? And I will also bring the swordsman over here to the flank. And of course, we're gonna shoot him. Waiting for orders. Skyros doesn't really have a task anymore. I don't like it. Full speed. Let's see. He's done. Waiting for orders. You are able to shoot? Sure, why not? Let's go. Time to die. It's really good that we can stand and shoot here. It really helps with our aim, with our uh, accuracy in general. Oh, and then it's Osmodius. Yeah, I want to see if I can get up here as well. Let's check it out. Okay. Let's go, Nova. Still not jumping. What can I do for you? Crazy. Uh, fire away! You have one more salvo, and that's it then. Oh God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Should be able to creep around here. Ah, oh, he's running! No, stay! <laughs> okay, but the funny thing is that they are still attacking the head, sir. Man, I'm so afraid of the Nova. Receiving you. Should I do it already? I, I guess I should. Let's do it. Uh, we also go Vigilant here for high initiative. We're gonna shoot a uh, slug because we need to deal a lot of pinpoint, which we didn't get. Hey there. But I, I think I have a plan of action now. We're gonna go over to the right side now that we know that we can get on the ridge over here. Uh, we're gonna try to just get as many mechs as possible over here and just destroy the Nova at this point, unless we have no hit chance, which we don't. Okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. 17, I'll take it. If we can drop the arm, I'm already happy. Because half of the firepower is in the arm. This thing has just, I think, 10 heavy lasers. And then if we can drop five of them, it's half of the firepower gone. Ooh, a back strike, you say? I like that. Let's go Vigilant. Again, high initiative next round is imperative. Oh, never mind, we got him. Yeah, this is where he dies. So he lost half of a torso, he got a pilot injury, his uh, innie is bad, mine is better, we are in his back, we got it. And he lost half of the firepower. Alright, oh, so good guys. Let's take a look at the salvage screen in a second. I think next round we're gonna win. Good to go. Uh, fire? Tell me what to shoot. Nice, good, stop here. Waiting for orders. Do nothing. Um, smart. Oh, Moloch, yeah, let's... Let's go. I copy. All right, that's perfect. Uh, doesn't mean we're gonna attack somebody else. I think it actually does. So we still have 18 dead fire shots. So it's not much. Rest is inferno. Might be enough anyway. Almost. Reporting critical. Oh, panic level critical. Oh, I like to see that. I like to hear that. No, you're gonna go up here, you're gonna follow up, you're gonna try to deal the last remaining points of damage so we don't have to worry about the tank anymore. We didn't get it. Uh, but we can try again. And that with an even better hit chance. Hey, we got him. Ooh. Guys, it's coming to a close here. We are almost there. Uh, yeah, let's do that. The last few shots on our SRMs as well. That seemed like it had no impact. Short range missiles are out. I mean, yes, our SRMs got destroyed, but what? Okay. Huh. Coordinates received. All right, let's try again. Um, duh, 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 cluster shots. And yes, we have way too much ammo on this mech. 
for the LBX. Locked on with all He's panicked, that's all we got. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. So the only thing I can re reliably do here, reasonably do, is uh, doing that. Also, Vigilance? I don't know. So, Inferno Missiles is all we got. Fire! Should be a kill anyway. All right, boys, follow me. We're gonna go shoot the moon, Kaiser. Commander? And then there's Skyros. Uh, yeah, doing nothing. Man, I was hoping that I could also destroy... How's it going? Uh, the, what's it called? The striker here. This round. Maybe we still can. Waiting on you, Commander. Maybe we still can. I don't think so, though. I hear ya. Here we go. And that's the last shot from her. All out of long range missiles. What can I do for ya? And you can do nothing. Good to go. Uh, Tell me what to nah, do. this is not gonna be enough. He still has too much armor. This Striker 2C is actually this quite is good. Lots of armor, good mobility, lots of firepower on top of that. I want it. <laughs> and they are going for the headset, what can I say? Alright. So, how do we get that dude? Shall we try to panic oh, him out? God, I was sleeping. What do you want? I'm just gonna shoot him and then we see how this goes. Alright. It's not, no more not too bad. Orders. So, that's gonna be a back attack. Fire! Target lock on and that's destroying. Holy crap! So, it was a bit of a longer mission here, but the quality One of the loot crap. is gonna be really good here. Ha, huh, man. Mission successful. Mission successful. We got it. Alright. So, let's take a look at the loot table. We have probably access to two LRM-15. I was I was wondering, or well, I'm wondering still, how many um, how many equipment parts we can get for the stalker, or should we pick the striker to see? The thing was actually quite good, and it's I think better than the Hetzer. I'm not interested in adders. No, right now it's no, no, no. There's a Nova, nah, but it's also not great. Oscout, the Pack Hunter, Toad, Saracen, two parts for the striker. It's really good, guys. It's a nice middle ground between armor, firepower, and mobility for a tank. It's, it's cool. It's really good. But let's, let's take a look at the items that we can get, because we also have a Stalker to build. And I think I should prioritize that. I do also not think that we can put too many big weapons into it. Like, big energy weapons because of the cooling. We are currently missing double heatsink kits, so we cannot do that. However, they are th this is the perfect one. Three LRM-15 and one pack. This is what I wanted and this is what I got and I don't even have to invest a lot. Perfect. I'm not really keen on getting those heavy lasers, I gotta say. They have a negative one accuracy debuff and the max range is also not that great. We have some streaks here. Ooh, that's a lot of clan SRMs. I will take them as well. We can replace them with the SRM... Six pirates that we have on the other crow. So that's gonna be way more damage and build options for the storm crow. I love it. Um, SLDF, piloting and tactics is quite good, but I think gunnery is better. So we're gonna stick to our clan cockpits. We have more clan endo steel, which we have two of, so I don't care. Engine core is good. It's good for money. That is good. So we have that for the stalker now. And we even had one. Nice. So we might be able to sell it. To get enough money to build the other one into the stalker. That's a million. That's a 250. That's 550. Okay. Keep that in mind. We have Pharaoh. But we have Pharaoh already. I like the ECM. I like the double freaking heatsink kit. Oh, okay. So that makes... Ooh, makes things uh, different now. So we have one double heatsink. I'm gonna drop the clan ECM. And I'm gonna take another heatsink so we can actually build the stalker with a bunch of heatsinks. Those are seven regular ones. Let's not mispick here. I wanna take the clan one. Yeah, absolutely. And then there's ammo. Sure. Oh, Magpulse. Nice. So that, 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 and that is good for the stalker. The SRM6s is good for the crow. Do we need to make the crow better? Or do we go all in on the stalker taking another double heatsink? 
I don't know. I like the SRM6s, yeah. Yeah, the Stalker will take a lot of time to be actually built. But then we have enough more. Yeah, we have more double heat sinks. Let's go with that. Bit of immediate value, bit of long-term value. We also get two parts of an Adder, Saracen, Striker 2C. We got a Svantuvit, uh, Val Harasser. Hmm. We get the Lurms, we get the SRMs, we get regular armor. Two, oh, two points of our uh, positions of Endo Steel. Lots of value in that here. Let's sell all of it. It's good for the repair cost and the build cost. I want to sell the core. That can probably go as well, right? Yeah. I can go Barrel. Sell it. No. Sadly, we didn't get any random double heat sinks. That's the thing that I kind of banked on, but we didn't, so... Huh. There is a basic sensor. Standard fusion engine, also good money. Nice. We are at about 1.5 million sea builds. And that means we can build our stalker. So that's cool. Guys, we got some stuff. And next time we see each other, we're gonna probably skip planet and go somewhere else to find better missions. I wanna, at this point, start from two and a half skull and higher. I wanna go for maybe even three skull missions, but we will see that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. As always, if you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.